Benedetto Fratrum Minorum Capuchinorum, also known as the Order of Franciscan Friars Minors Capuchins, abbreviated as OFM Cap, is a mendicant Catholic religious order founded in 1525 by an Italian friar, Matteo de Bessio. The Order of Friars Minor Capuchin belongs to the first order of St. Francis of Assisi within the, the Catholic Church in the whole world. It was started in the year 1528 in Italy. Capuchin brothers are both ordained and non-ordained. Capuchin brothers, like other religious congregations, take the vows of celibacy, poverty, and obedience. But in Kenya, the order was established in the year 1974 by our missionary Capuchin brothers from the island of Malta in Europe. This year, 2024, marks the golden jubilee of the Order of Friars Minor Capuchins, the largest of the contemporary first orders within the Franciscan movement. When our missionaries from the island of Malta in Europe brought the caption life in Kenya. They planted the first seed of the caption vocation in this country. That seed has grown and it has produced fruits through the work of the missionaries themselves but more so through the work of the local brothers. This order stands as one of the longest Catholic congregation of brothers and priests who adhere to the teachings and spiritual disciplines of the founder, St. Francis of Assisi, and of his main associates and followers such as Claire of Assisi, Anthony of Padua, and Elizabeth of Hungary, among many others, known for their trademark habit, a capuche, also known as almos. We have this, what we are calling, capu uh, capuche. It's called capucini. Our capuchin uh, brothers put on uh, this dress. This dress is called, it's called a hood. It has a meaning. You see, like this one, it is like a basket, like in the sense that we embrace the, the, the poverty. The brothers, when they had no food, they could go around the streets and people could put food in the capuche or in the hood. When they come back to the community, the one in charge of the community, we call him the guardian, he could go and offload to see the type of food that they have brought. Then they could share. Because being a religious order, we have the vow of poverty. And therefore, whatever we get, we share in common. And that is also another meaning of this. The name Capuchins refers to the peculiar shape of the long hood. When the first friars went to preach in Camerino in 1534, the locals called them Scampuccini. They soon became known as Friars Minor Capuchins. This is the Ordo Minor Ordo Fratrum Minorum Capuchinorum, better known as the Order of Franciscan Friars Minors, OFM Cap. Later on, this uh, charism would proliferate uh, to Kenya in 1974, spreading their wings to other places, counties, and uh, right now as we stand, 10 dioceses uh, in Kenya. There is a commitment to poverty, prayer, and fraternity life, exemplifying the charism that was started by the founder, St. Francis of Assisi. Since its establishment in Kenya 50 years ago, the Capuchin friars have fortified their presence, spreading out their friary wings to more regions within the country and beyond the geographical boundaries of Kenya. Since 1974, Captain Franciscan Order has grown and spread to 10 dioceses, including Garissa Diocese, Nairobi Aki Diocese, Malindi Diocese, Nyeri Aki Diocese, Kisumu Aki Diocese, Homa Bay Diocese, 
Kericho Diocese, Kitale Diocese, Gong Diocese, and Machakos Diocese. We also work outside the country in Papua New Guinea, California, New York, South Africa, and Zambia. We also have some brothers studying in Rome. In germinating the roots of the OFM capuchins in Kenya, the first seeds were sowed in the good soil of Garissa County in the northeastern part of the country. The fruits would later germinate and sprout out to other parts. Our missionaries, when they first came, they settled in Garissa. And they, in the diocese of Garissa, the first bishops have been capuchins. And we have the first community in this place, in the bishop's uh, residence. The Franciscan Capuchin Friars continue to hold Garissa Diocese Episcopate since it was carved out from dismembered yeah. territories of Mombasa Ark Diocese and Meru Diocese on February 3rd, 1984, with the Right Reverend Paul Darmanin, OFM Cup, appointed the pioneer bishop by Bob John Paul II, serving from 1984 to 2016. Bishop Darmin was succeeded by Bishop Joseph Alessandro OFM Cup, who served as the second shepherd of Garissa Diocese until June 17, 2022, before handing over the ecclesiastical staff to the third and current bishop, Right Reverend George Mudaka OFM Cup. Within the Diocese of Garissa as well, we have one parish. That is uh, Hola Parish, where we have our brothers doing apostolate, serving the people of God. Mwaka wa moja mia tisa sabini na hine, eh, paroko wa kwanza, mbawa ni mkapuchini, Father Joe Galea, aliwasili na akachukua na fasi hiyo ya kuwa paroko. Na kwa hiyo ikawa parokia. Na wakati huo parokia ilikuwa eh, Hola, Wenje na Bura kwa kitu kimoja alikuwa na hudumu pande hiyo na alihudumu akiwa peke yake kwa muda na baada ya miaka mbili baadaye e, father Spiro Galeo alimwaka alimu, mwaka wa 16 aliingia hapa akaanza kuhudumu pamoja kama paroko msaidizi na kwa jumla wote wawili walihudumu kwa miaka 40 mpaka mwaka wa 2019 kanisa la mtakatifu Francisco wa Assisi Hola iko na makanisa matano Hapa center hola kuna laini kuna chewani kuna kiarukungu na kuna kone jumla ya wakristo wote kwa idadi ni 1700 kulingana na ukaguzi wa mwaka uliopita lakini familia zenyewe familia zote ni 81 katika hiyo hizo e, familia 81 e, tunaona kamfano hapa St Francis of Assisi center hola E, wakristo ni kama mia tatu na, na kitu kama mia tatu wa msini mia tatu sitini hapo lakini familia zenyewe ni kama mia moja na msini na moja sisi tumeunda jumuhia amba tunahudumia wakristo wetu kiro kila wiki kama mande tunamesa sa kumina mbili na wiki kumina sa kumina mbili na daka kumina tano subui na tuwa kristo ambao ni waze na wagonjwa tunawadumia siku ya jumatano kwanzia subui mpaka sanane alafu siku zingine tunawadumia individijana wakikuja ama tukitembea kwa wale ambao atungeweza kufikia wakati wa Jumatano. E, tunashukuru sana uwepo wa vikundi katika kanisa la mtakatifu Francisco wa Assisi. Tukianza na CWSCMA na St. Anne pamoja na Kwaya na hata wana yudhi wetu. Kwa sababu kwa mfano kikundi cha St. Anne ndio kiliachwa na wa missionary wakati wa kukua na CWSCMA. Lakini wana waliundwa kwa ajili ya kuombea 
miito kuna kuombea familia na hasa kuwapelekea maombi wale ambao wamerudi nyuma kiimani wanapeleka kwa boma wanaenda boma wanaomba na kuuliza kwa nini mmerekea kanisani kwa hiyo tunaona katika kikundi hicho cha Zenda kwa miaka hiyo iliyopita kimekuwa kimsaada mkubwa na hasa ndoa mingi tunaweza kuattribute kwa mtakatifu ana kwa kutembelea wakristo kwa jumuiya kwa boma na hata kwa ku, kwa kanisa tuko na sina tifu tisa ambao tunafanya ya kiimani watu na tunazungukiana out, out, out stations kwa maana kuna wengine ambao ni wazee hawezi kufika so tulifanya kama tunatembelea kila mwezi tunawazungukia tunafanya mambo ya maombi na hata katika parokia level tuko na mradi ya tailoring project ambao tulianza ili tusaidie katika masafari yetu mambo ya imani kwa maana kama mko na kitu kwa mfuko mkiwa na safari itakuwa ni gharama kama ni ile mali penye ilikuwa mlipe hata kama ni 4000 2000 lakini sasa ile pesa inapungua ndio tulikuwa tunataka wamama wajiunge lakini sasa wenye walijiunga mpaka saini wa mama 77 mimi at the moment nilijoin na CW ninaona kuna mambo mengi unajua ukijiunga na kanisa kuna msaada na hata kuna faida yake katika kanisa si faida kuwa utapewa kitu lakini kuweka mambo yako unamtegemea Mungu na unasaidia kanisa kuna mambo yako mengi hata Mungu anakufungulia baraka anakufungulia mengi kwa hivyo yako ni kwa sihi akina mama wajijiunge na kikundi cha CWA ili uh, injili tuweze kuenesa sote katika kanisa letu na Kenya mzima mara nyingi huwa tuko na kikao ambacho uh, tunakifanya kila baada ya miezi mitatu ambacho ni cha cha parokia kama siku ya parokia na huwa tunakuja na program na mikakati ya, ya maendeleo kwa hiyo kufikia sasa tuko na miradi miwili mikubwa ambayo tumeifanya kwanza kabisa ya kwanza ni hili kanisa ambayo ilikuwa rangi ilikuwa imechaka ilikuwa ni ya kutoka wakati huo so tukasema kwa kuwa ni center wacha tuipatie facility so tukaweka rangi yote alafu juu pia kulikuwa na sehemu ambayo ilikuwa ina wakati wa mvua ilikuwa inavuja tukarekebisha hiyo ya pili ni kanisa la mtakatifu Luka pale kone kanisa hili lilianzishwa na na, na father joe lilianza tu aliliacha lipokuwa nafikiri uh, ilikuwa ni jiwe la tatu kutoka chini na tukakaa kama kamati tukasema hatuwezi kuangalia kanisa hili ni ile msabu uh, kwa ukubwa ni kanisa la pili katika parokia yetu tunavyoendelea kuna idadi ya familia zetu zinaongezeka kanisa hii tunasema katika parokia yetu iko na kama familia mia ile kwa mia tano kwa majina naitwa Florence Kidada mimi ni chair leader kikundi ya devotion kikundi cha maombi cha chama cha mtakatifu hana hiyo ni kikundi ambacho kinaunganisha watu ambao wamefunga ndoa kwa kanisa na ni kikundi ambacho ni cha sala cha kuomba mwenye anaingia hapa anataka na kuishi maisha ambayo yanaendaana na maisha ya mama ana so mama ana tulimpenda tulimwenzi sana hapa kwa sababu alitupatia msichana ambaye aliweza kuokoa ulimwengu dunia nzima tuseme kuhusu maisha yetu ya kidini father alikuwa kila mwaka tulikuwa tunamtiza katika ume father alikuwa anatukibadisha pasaka tu tunaanza kurekrut anaanza kuchukua wale wameingia ndini upya anaanza kufundisha anaanza mafundisho mpaka anaanza pasaka that night atakuwa na matizo na watu katika ume wetu that's how he brought our faith kwa very strong mimi naitwa Mary Sachombe mimi ni mama yake father Daniel Monima na mimi na niko katika jumu ya St. Luanga ambayo zamani ilikuwa inaitwa eh jumuiya hola mission so nipo jiunga nikapitia mafundisho na 
ikawa na ile bidii ya kujua kuendelea nini katika kanisa la Katholik ana mpangilio yake na ile ya Mikod Scott tofauti kabisa so mwisho endelea kujua na nika nikaa nauliza wenzangu ambao walikuwa mtakatifu ana ambao nilikuwa nawaona kila siku anakuja kufundisha na alamisi jioni niliwajua kapchini kutoka mwaka wa 1980 ya wakati ni ngara na mzee jumi nilikuwa Methodist lakini mzee alikuwa Catholic so tulipoungana nika hawa nakuja hapa kanisani walipenda kukaa na sisi na hata kutoka kwao walikuwa walikuwa na ugumu sana kutoka hapa Hola waliona kama ambayo wanadhulumiwa kutoka Hola because wameona hapa wamefika nyumbani na wamezoea na tumependana sasa hii kanisa imekuwa nikiona from pale this is office eh office ya DC pale juu ndio tukajenga kanisa kidogo ambaye hata saa hii iko from there ndio tukahama tukajenga hiyo kanisa sasa ambaye tunaabudu siku hizi ile ambaye ni kubwa na hiyo kanisa ni sisi wenyewe tulichimbua foundation kutoka chini yale wale waumini wale Christians tena walikuwa wachache sana hii kakaa ndio ikakaa ikakua ikakua mpaka dakika hii sasa naona waumini ni wengi kazi yetu ni kuhubiri neno la Mwenyezi Mungu kupitia kwa mikonyayo e, za wale waliotangulia Father Joga Lea na Father Subiro na tunaendeleza kazi hizo e, kwa kuhubiri neno la Mwenyezi Mungu lakini kati ya hiyo neno la kuhusu wakati wakati ule sio Jumapili tuna kazi mingi tunafanya kwa mfano kuna prison ambayo iko hapa ambayo tunaenda kutembelea wafungwa mara moja kwa wiki kila Jumamosi tunakwenda pale na mara mbili kwa wiki wanakwaya wetu wanaenda kuimba nyimbo kule prison tukitegemea kwamba nyimbo pengine wakisikiza nyimbo wale wafungwa wataweza kubadilika lakini kwa upande ule mwingine katika huduma zile tunawapea e, tu wakati mwingine kupitia kwa baba askofu kama wakati huu tuna baba askofu George Mutaka ametupea uh, ration ya chakula ambao sasa haibagui Mkristo na Muislamu wote wenye njaa wanapata chakula kwa hiyo sisi tuna kazi yetu ni kuchukua chakula na pick up na tunawapelekea kule vijijini kupitia kwa chief na local administration nagawa hiyo chakula kwa watu mbalimbali. Haijalishi ni Muislamu ama ni Mkristo, wote wale wenye njaa tunaandikwa wanaandikwa chini kupitia kwa jumuiya ndogo ndogo za Ukristo na pamoja na serikali ya chief na local administration tunawagawia chakula. Kila mmoja anapata ratio moja na yule mwingine bila kuwabagua. Tulianza project ya kupanda miti kwele tumejitahidi kadi wazi wetu ikawa sehemu ni desert lakini tumeanza kwamba tunaenda kuleta maji kutoka kwa mtu na tunakuja tunamwagilia miti yetu so far tumepanda miti 3 na 17 na bado tunaendelea kupanda miti ili upendo wa Francisco uweze kuonekana hata katika bunge yetu ya Hola we are see even the police have come later after Joe they have done something and uh, I would say that I know that they have worked a lot they are very serious I would say that they continue with a strong faith and also they be very serious zealous in the faith and also they continue reaping their consecration free and their signs to the people of God we are also happy as sisters of the Joseph of Tabs because we work together with them and we are here we have a school we are working with in the parish we are also happy to work with the captains in this diocese <laughs>
kwanza na washukuru waliotangulia na sasa tumetimiza miaka 50 katika miaka hiyo 50 nimeona wakamjini wetu wa mpanga mipangilio mzuri kwanza tukianza na mashule wakamjini kila mahali walikuwa ukienda wenje utakuta mashule imesimama secondary na primary na kuna wenje boys huko ni wao walianzisha ukija hapa hola kuna hola boys na kuna mashule ya primary kuna rafiki primary laza kuna eh, maumao girls na kuna mashule mengine mengi lakini hata hapa kwa kanisa tuna shule ya mtakatifu eh, mtakatifu Joseph Saint Joseph eh, Holy Angel eh, Primary School na ukienda bura utakuta mashule vile vile wamejenga ukienda Emmaus kuna Saint Joseph na kuna mpango wa hospitali hapo ya Saint Joseph pamoja na kuweka college ya college ya college ya, 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 ya walimu pale na washukuru wa kapuchini kwa sababu ya mipango hiyo ya kuweka structure za mashule pamoja na dispensary tunaambiwa katika kanisa letu Yesu alifanya hayo alilisha watu wenye njaa aliwasamehe wa, wa, wa dhambi na wenye wagonjwa aliwaponya sasa tunaona wamejenga shule kwa ajili ya mkate wa kila siku ni mashule mengi katika jimbo katika jimbo hili la Garissa ni wakapuchini wamejenga na wamejenga hospitali mingi kwa ajili ya wale wagonjwa kwa sababu e, tunaendelea katika nyayo tuliachiwa za wamishonari tumepiga hatua zaidi na zaidi kuliko wakati wa wamishonari saa hii tunajivunia mashamba ambao tumepata kupitia kwa uongozi wa wa Afrika wa missionary ambao ni wakapuchini tumepata mashamba kila sehemu ukienda Nyeri ukienda na Akuru ukienda Bugoma ukienda Machakos ukienda Tanariva kuna mashamba ya kutosha na miradi ambayo tumeweka ya mashule na kuwapongeza kwa kuvumilia miaka hiyo ya tabu ya hapo nyuma kulikuwa misitu wanyama magonjwa nataka kupongeza wakapuchini wakapuchini wametufanyia eh, mambo ambayo tunajivunia sisi the effort that is put on by the captain priest and the brothers who are working around is what is making them to realize that in life as much as there is other things they can do without god they can't go far therefore it's a responsibility that their captains have taken with good heart ready to go on despite of the hardship of the area working moving on here and there to reach the christians language is another issue but the captains it's like a, a cup of tea i may say because they are able to relate with all people and working with all of them together the captains later moved to malindi diocese which is constituted by three communities and mary shrine popularly known as saint mary's catholic church in sabaha malindi the first community is our initial formation uh, house apostolate house where we do our formation when we get the candidates we receive them in this uh, community and they receive their uh, initial formation to be accompanied by their formators so that uh, the vocation that they receive from uh, Christ they may be through the power of the holy spirit be able to listen to the voice of god calling them to serve in the church as captain brothers msingi wa maisha ya ki francisco inaanzia hapa katika jambani na hapa ndu wanao wale ndu ambao wanasikia kaambu kwamba wako na wit wao wamefutiwa kujiunga na wakapuchini wa francisco wakiandika application wanapokelewa hapo ili waanze na msingi wa malezi si wa malezi hapa ni miaka miwili mwaka wa kwanza wa apostolate na mwaka wa pili wa apostolate wanafundisha namna ya kukaa pamoja bila namna ya kukaa pamoja bila wanaweza kushirikiana kwa kwa wanashirikishana ito via pamoja kama ni chakula kama ni kidogo hicho ndicho hicho ndicho wana wao wote wana wana kula isose sikio nyingi yote kila kidogo ni hiyo tu wanafundishwa nam ili kuondoa ile spirit ya yobinafsi mimi ni mimi nataka ni mimi nishibe 
kuliko wengine alichukua zaidi ya wengine malezi katika nyumba uh, kitu cha kwanza ni kuelekeza uh, katika mambo matatu yaliyo makuu kitu cha kwanza ni maisha ya sala kwa kuwa mtakatifu Francisco alipenda zaidi kujifanisha na Yesu Kristo na kafuata yale yote Yesu Kristo aliyofuata kwa hivyo katika sala aliweza kuzama katika kuyafuata ya maisha ambayo Yesu Kristo aliyoyaishi kwa tunafundisha maisha ya sala kuanzia asubuhi tunapoamka tunakuwa na sala mundo akutavakari na tena sala ya asubuhi na pia kila siku tunakuwa na ipanda ya misa takatifu ambapo mambo mengine yanafuatia kama masomo na pia kazi ya mikono pia jambo lingine ambalo tunawashirikiza zaidi ni kukaa pamoja ama community life maisha ya njumuia kama vile mtakatifu Francisco alivyo tufundisha akatuambia kwamba kitu cha kwanza katika maisha haya ni kuwa ndugu na ndugu ni mtu yule ambaye yuko pamoja nawe wakati wote wakati wa furaha yuko pamoja nawe wakati wa uchungu pia yuko pamoja nawe ni mtu ambaye hawezi akakuacha kwa ujumla niweza nikasema ni malezi ambayo yanafaa zaidi ni, na ni malezi mazuri pale ambapo tunafundishwa tofauti na haya mambo za darasani tunafundishwa kuishi maisha zaidi ya kikapuchini tunaelezewa zaidi tunachohitajiwa kufanya kama ndugu wa kapuchini hasa baada ya kuweka nadhiri za kwanza jinzi tunapaswa kuishi yale ambayo tuliahidi sasa kwa kipindi hichi maisha ya noviciate ni kipindi kizuri sana kwa sababu gani inatusaidia na pia tunaweza kupata kupatana na ndugu wengine kutoka nchi tofauti tofauti na ile ushirikiano vema tunaweza tunapata kusoma kitu kutoka kwao na wale pia wanasoma kitu kutoka kwetu mwaka 2022 nikaweza kupewa nafasi ya kujiunga na shirika la Wakapuchini nilikuwa tarehe 5 mwezi wa saba niweza kupokelewa kuanzisha maisha yetu ya kusilanti peketoni umoja kwa sasa nimemaliza mwaka mmoja na naendelea na mwaka yangu ya pili kutoka kipindi hiki cha malezi hapa mpeketoni umoja natarajia kupewa nafasi ya kuenda katika kipindi ngine cha noviciate kule Tanzania ili niweze pia kupata nafasi ya kuweka na dhiri zangu za kwanza katika shirika na kuweza kuishi maisha ya kapuchini wadogo jinsi ninavyokuwa nikitamani kuishi na niweze kutumikia Mungu popote atakapoweza kunituma waomba wote hasa vijana ambao wanajisikia kuna wito wa kumtumikia Mungu uh, katika shamba lake. Ningeomba waweze kujiunga nasi kwa kuwa uh, katika kuyafuata maisha ya mtakatifu Francisco na katika kuzama katika njiri takatifu ndipo tutaweza kupandisha ulimwengu ambao uko na changamoto nyingi na pawe pahali pema pa kila mmoja kuishi na kusikia ame, kila mmoja amependwa na nakubarika na pia kuna hiyo nafasi ya kufurahia maisha ambayo Mungu ametupatia tunazo parokia mbili katika jimbo la Malindi eh Kristo mpanzi mwema hapa mpeketoni na St Mary's Msaba Shrine ambapo tunahudumia kama ndugu wa Kapchino wa missionary ndio walianzisha uh, hii parokia ambayo tuko tuko hapa saa hii e, Kristo mpanzi mwema hapa mpeketoni Baltachino was posted to Lamu and started work immediately He would come to Mpeketoni by bus and and uh, and picked up from Mkunumbi by Tarsisi ya Soambugu the catechist who would carry him up to this place on a bicycle to say mass and then ride him back to Kunumbi to await uh, the bus from Mombasa to take him back to Lamu. Mbadaye kuka 
ada besok bara-bara na saa hii tuko na besho lago ambayo tunaendelea vizuri kushirikiana kuonyesha ya kwamba tuna tuweze kuendeleza neno la Mwenyezi Mungu vizuri Bishop Francis Baldacino of the OFM Capuchin Order was the pioneer prelate of Malindi Diocese from June 6th 1937 to October 9th 2009 he would progressively pass over the baton to other religious leaders who came after him. Nakumbuka wakati wa Father Ira Diabel. Basi amejaribu sana kuinua hii parokia, amekaa miaka mingi na ushirikiano mzuri wa missionary na wale ndugu wa Kenya. Basi eh kuna wakati ulifika na ndugu wa Afrika sisi ambao ni wa Kenya tukachukua nafasi hiyo ya kuongoza hizi parokia nilingia wakati wa fadha ilali na fadha ilali sikuwa nimeingia sana kanisani manake mari nikuwa nafanya kazi nilikuwa naona changamoto sana ya kutoka kwa sabi ya shote nji ya kazi lakini niliweza kutoka nikafanya na fadha ilali kama mkristo wa kawainda na kwa sababu nilikuwa nimeingia shirika inaitu wa rent cross nilitembea na fadha ilali kwa wagonjwa Mwai tembea na ye nikiwa mkristo wakawainda na tukatembelea wagonjwa, tukatembelea mahali watu walikuwa mefiliwa. The chairman of the Catholic Men's Association CMA at Christ the Sowa Parish, Beke Tony, shares the involvement of men in the mission of the OFM Capuchins. Hata wale wazee wetu, ambo kwa mba hawezi kufika kalisani kwa misa, tunaenda kwao, tunawapelekea sala, tunawapelekea misa, tunawapafadha natubia na yeye anatoa misa na tangalao wapate nafasi ya kupokea maana katika uzee wao wanaweza kosa wakati wote wa kufika kanisani ama nafasi ya uwezo wa kufika kanisani wakati hawajiwezi kufika kanisani natubia kupeleka misa katika nyumba zao wanapata nafasi ya kupokea kwa ya ya Kristo majority of the animators to kwalim wengi in fact wengi good number to kwalim Kwa hivyo, hawa ni watoto ambao tunaingiliana na wapi, shuleni, during the, week, uh, the weekdays, ikifika weekend, tunakuja tunakuta na wapi. So, we journey with them. Eh? So, tukiona kama kuna aspect ambayo sio nzuri. Najwa kule shuleni wezi changanya na, na kanisani. Kule tukiona, tunakuja tunayadresi hapa. Since then, the parish has expanded and branched out into four outstations in response to the growing number of parishioners and the need to reach out to the far-flung places within this region. Katika parukia Yesu Mbazimwema, tukuna jumula ya vigangu vine, ambavyo vyote vikuna jumuia ishirini. Pia katika kanisa letu, kuna vikundi kwa mfano, CWA, mbaidi ya kina mamu, kuna kina baba CMA, kuna youth, kuna yasa, na PMC. Wote tunashirikia na vizuri katika kwenyeza njini. Mimi ni mwana youth katika parishi na tuko kadhaa kwa sasa kuna wale ambao wameunguka katika imani lakini kuna wale ambao tunazidi kushikilia tuko vijana kama kumi hivi na wasichana kama kumi na tano hivi kwa wale ambao kuna wale ambao wako shuleni kuna wale ambao wanaishi huku na wale wanapotoka shuleni huwa tunazidi kujumuika na wao ili tu, tuweze kuendeleza imani na kuvuta wengine walioanguka katika imani it takes concerted efforts of the leadership of the friars and other church leaders. Lucas, the deputy moderator in the central outstation of Christ the Good Sower in Pekitoni Lamu Dinari in Malindi Diocese, had this to say about his leadership role. Kwa jumla wa Christu wa parukia Mpekitoni, Christu Mpanzimuema Mpekitoni, wanashirikia na vizuri na wachungaji ambao wametumwa na shirika na pia wanaendelea kuwatunza vizuri. Naendelea kushukuru shirika kwa kutupatia nafasi ya kudumiwa na hawa baba wa kiroho wa, wa kiro kutoka shirika la wakapuchini. Since 1974, Christ the Soa Mpeketoni has been a home to many both lay and religious men and women. Sister P. 
security ngi not attached to these. So makweli imani hapa katika parokia hii imekuwa sana tangu nikiwa mdogo na nikikompea na sasa ni imani ime, imekuwa kwa kiwango kikubwa sana sababu nikiangalia tangu nikiwa mchanga wa Kristo walikuwa wachache wachache lakini ukiangalia kwa size kanisa kwa kweli kanisa limekuwa na hapa Kristo mpanzi mwema na tunashukuru kwa ndugu zetu wa Kapuchini ambao wanasaidia sana wa Kristo hapa na pia mito mito ni mingi sana katika parokia hii yetu tunaona maendeleo mengi sana kutoka kwa ndugu zetu wa Kapuchini na kwa kazi hizo na juhudi hizo ambazo wanazifanya tunaona maendeleo yenu na Mungu azidi kuwabariki tunawashukuru wa Kristo wa Kristo uh, mpanzi mwema uh, kwa sababu ya kuonyesha uh, uh, ukarimu wao na upendo kwa ndugu wa Kapuchino ile ambayo nafurahia sana kufanya kazi hapa ni upendo wa Wakristo wanapenda fathers wao wale ndugu ambao wanatumwa hapa tuna ushirikiano na wao vizuri eh, and I'm happy to be here located in Peketoni the coastal town of southwest of Lamu Christ the Sowa parish has stood the test of times with reported incessant targeted attacks by the Somalia based Al Shabab militant group tukiangalia katika maeneo hii kanisa letu ni kubwa na ni linda washirika wengi so wakati tunasikia mambo hayo ya shambulizi ya Al Shabab hata attendance ya kanisa utaona watu wa, wamepungua kuja kanisani kwa sababu ya ya ule uoga baada ya shambulizi la kigaidi la mwaka 2016 ambalo lilitokea hapa Mpeketoni niliyumbisha imani ya wakristu wengi lakini kwa sababu imani ya wakristu ina misingi hawakuweza kutatizika kutokana na shambulizi hilo waliweza kumakinika na kurudi na kuendelea na kudumu katika kanisa kwa sasa hivi tunaweza sema mambo ya security yako vizuri sabit stable the different groups in the church work closely with the capuchin priests and brothers within the malindi ecclesiastical entity to evangelize to catholic faithful and especially to those who are yet to receive the gospel migango yetu kimoja kinaitwa mapenya eh, uziwa uh, kisuke na pia tunahudumia tuna shule ya bakanja secondary school Uh, pia tunahudumia masista wa poor players kwa sababu wako chini yetu na e, tukonazo vikundi vya kanisa hizo vikundi zote tukiunganisha nguvu zote tunaona kama kanisa inaendelea vizuri the resilient seed of love at christ the sower has continued to fortify the bond which remains unwavered even in the face of unprecedented times such as the novel covid-19 pandemic which induced restrictions in every sphere curtailing social interactions imani inaendelea kukua na wamama wamekuwa wamama wa kujituma kwa sababu ni mambo mengi hasa wakati wa corona wakati kulikuwa <coughs> hakuna misa na shukuru sana wamama wa hapa kigango cha centro tulikuwa tunapigania simu huku na huku na tunaokota kiasi ya pesa na kila Jumapili tulikuwa tunamletea fadha ki, kiasi cha fedha ya kuweza kujisaidia kwa sababu ya mahitaji ya kila siku. Na shukuru wa mama hawakuweza kuachilia mapadre wetu tuliendelea vizuri. The friars go beyond the pastoral duties to educate and empower men, women and youth to be self-reliant through self-help groups something that continues to attract more followers to serve in God's vineyard tunakutana siku ya rahamisi wakati mwingi tunakuwa na mafundisho hasa na chaplain wetu ambayo tunatumiwa na tunashukuru pia hawa mafathers wa captain kwa sababu kuna brothers pale umoja kila father akija kama wako busy tuna wanahakikisha tuna brother ambaye atatembea na wamama na hama brother pia wameza kutufunza mirandi mingi wakati mwingine huwa tuna rafiki ya siri tunainuana sisi kwa sisi pia tuna miradi ya godoro hapa sasa kwetu tunakondisha kama saa hii watoto wako jandoni tushakondisha hapo tumeibuka tena na na mradi wa catering 
kama kuna sherehe hapa kuliko kuchukua mtu wa nje tumeungana wa kina mama tunapika na tunapata fedha kidogo hiyo nayo inaingia kwa chama tumeibuka pia na mradi ambao tunaona unaleta pesa kwa haraka mradi wa vitamba is the immigrant heart bado tunaendelea na inatuletea faida wanchiko a youth leader at cross the soa in peketoni shared the youth strategy and participation in evangelization tunakuanga na kikundi cha evangelism evangelization na mimi ndiyo kiongozi katika hicho kikundi na tunawafundisha hasa katika imani ya Kristo kueleza kuhusu vile roho mtakatifu anavyoendeleza uh, maisha yetu ya kila siku na kuwafunza jinsi ambavyo Yesu angetaka waweze waweze kushiriki na yeye kwa undani zaidi tangu nikiwa mchanga wa Kristo walikuwa wachache wachache lakini ukiangalia kwa saizi kanisa kwa kweli kanisa limekuwa na hapa Kristo mpanzi mwenye na tunashukuru kwa ndugu zetu wa Kapuchini ambao wanasaidia sana wakristu hapa na pia mito mito ni mingi sana katika parokia hii yetu tumekuwa tukishiriki katika kuna hiyo ya tunaita home visit tunaenda kutembelea wenzetu tulikuwa tunaenda kutembelea uh, familia za wale wasiojiweza tunaweza kuwasaidia kwa kitambo kiasi na kwa kazi za kanisa tulikuwa kutokea jambo fulani tulikuwa tunajitolea si kama wana youth kufanya usaidizi kwa sababu sisi ndio tuliona nguvu zaidi katika kanisa naona imani inaendelea kuongezeka vile pia wamama wamezidi kuongezeka najua tutakuwa na idadi kubwa ya wale wanawake watakao pokelewa katika jimbo wale ambao walikuja wali kwanza kuanza ku, eh, shirika hii ya eh, Franciscan Capuchin wale ndugu ambao walitoka Malta eh, kwanza tunawashukuru kwa sababu ya kuja kwao na kuanzisha shirika hapa Kenya na walianzisha mikakati ya kuona ya kwamba maendeleo ya kanisa yako walijenga mashule wakajenga mahospitali wako na mashamba tunalima tunapata faida kutokana kwa kwa ndugu wetu wa kwanza na sasa hivi eh, kwa sababu sasa wengi wamerudi kule kwao na tu, sasa tumeachiwa jukumu katika mikono yetu kwanza nashukuru sana kwa sababu ya viongozi ambao wameingia eh, ndugu zetu wa Afrika ambao wamekuwa viongozi wetu wame, wameendeleza mahali uh, uh, wa ndugu wetu uh, ambao walitoka Malta uh, walianzisha As we celebrate 50 years of the Franciscan Capuchin Friars presence in Kenya, we thank you Lord for all those who have helped us in one way or another in living the Franciscan Capuchin charism occasion. We beseech you Lord to continue guiding us in the right path so that through the intercession of St. Francis of Assisi, and all the